Hey beautiful! Welcome to another episode of Georgie's Dropping the Stripping Wait, I mixed it up. Wait, that is, no. Welcome to another episode of Georgie's Stripping the Dipping. I think I'm having a hangover after drinking a lot of milk. Yeah. Well, let's just say that and skip this part. Anywho. <laughs> um, so guys, as you might have heard if you, uh, I mean if you're following me on Twitter and if you're following me on gram then you guys know that I have a YouTube channel called muscle nerds where I try to post um, every week most probably yes um, regarding everything and anything about fitness and fitness related stuff um, the workouts um, the areas that people do want to know about but scared to know about things like steroid using the abuse of steroids and then um, the diets the food um, the protein structures the calorie intakes uh, the calorie surplus the calorie deficits you know everything about fitness um, if you just go to YouTube and type muscle nerds or just um, if you're gonna follow me on Twitter it'll be easier because there's a um, there's a link there on my profile and on gram as well um, it goes as Georgina donut you can you guys can go there and check it out the channel and you know uh, give me your thoughts your feedbacks the topics that you would like to see on the channel and you would like me to talk uh, during this these podcast episodes as well um, So Yeah, so um, that's basically the channel um, there, there were I started to uh, getting into this channel because the reason behind it was uh, we do go to the gym we work out but I haven't seen a different world in um, um, related to the fitness fitness uh, industry but then I started whole uh, this whole journey because until then I was not really into fitness I mean I was I used to work out and all but not a major person into workouts and stuff like that but I started working out properly like continuously like fully focused uh, that started in 2016 because even before that I was going to the gym and all when I was studying abroad I used to hit the gym but you know it, it was just a normal part that I wanted to um, include in my lifestyle because I was getting fat yeah well I mean if you're looking at me right now <laughs> the story stays the same <laughs> but yeah. I used to be skinny oh, well not skinny I used to be thin and well not thin. How do you, how do you, okay I used to be lean a nice figure and then I got freaking fat and I did not like that because it was hard for me to find a job in my field of expertise where I used to work as a television presenter, a host, television host, uh, and news anchor, you know, those stuff as well. So there was an issue with the companies uh, when I started getting um, weight. They didn't want me to go on screen with that weight. So they wanted me to go, um, you know, with a skinny type of body. So then I started going to the gym, working out and all. But, but that was not... A path that I really wanted to include in my life I was just going for the sake of the job for the sake of that um, never realized that I was actually freaking fat <laughs> but after uh, 2015 yeah I just came down and then yeah so so uh, since 2016 from 2016 I started really focusing on uh, working out uh, the fitness you know getting back uh, together with my body the way I want it and all then looking back ahead with the pictures and stuff that I used to have I was like only then the bulb clicked in me and said oh bloody hell I was fat yeah I was um, it's, it's okay there, there's so much body positivity going on okay and we need to appreciate what we are and what we want and every person's everybody is beautiful there's no doubt on that However, there's a particular need and likeness that we have for ourselves, and I actually don't like to be fat for my body, 
I want it to be with um, less fat you know so um, for me I feel better with that so um, since I started working out from 2016 I got exposed into this huge world that I never realized or I didn't even know that exists um, I started uh, reading things I started watching stuff and then I realized oh my god there's a lot behind this a lot a lot a lot a lot behind this I um, got to know about Arnold Schwarzenegger you know the bodybuilding lives <laughs> um, then got to know Mr. Olympia which is a huge it's like Olympics for the bodybuilders okay if you guys don't know just check it out it's like the freaking Olympic stage for the bodybuilders that's the pinnacle 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 of bodybuilding and then there are um, natural competitions where you're not going to use any steroids and there are competitions that you're definitely using steroids but you're not going to um, publicly say that you're not you're using steroids but uh, to get that structure into that body level well, basically, you need to have those. Um, and there are so many cases where the steroid users abuse steroids and then, you know, um, before going anywhere else, they hit the bottom and they went downhill and um, some people actually lost their lives. Um, yeah, so there's a huge, 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 huge industry. There's a huge history and stuff. So much to know, so much to talk about. Well, basically, this is just an intro for you guys to understand what I will be talking about and how the channel is. So, yeah. And, well, like I said, um, um, it's, a, it's a channel where I talk about everything and anything uh, related to fitness like even sports everything is related to fitness so if you take formula one since you know it's the trending topic these days sweetheart <laughs> um even for formula one drivers they have a particular set of um fitness schedules the workouts that they do so um i would love to know what those things are and to record those things and put a video regarding those things so that anyone who's interested can get to know those things it's very useful to know all those information you know knowledge is the power darlings knowledge is definitely the power um well at least in my mind do you do you agree knowledge is the power right right let me know S send me send me a dm saying whether i'm right or wrong okay um and of course um i need to say this uh one of the main reasons that i work out and i love working out is the fact that i'm a foodie yes sweetheart your girl is a foodie i eat okay i eat like i love food so, so um i need to maintain my food and also my body you know i don't want to be 100 uh, 100 kilos weight just because i eat so i do workouts to burn whatever the hell the cal calories that i'm taking in and also i would like to feel myself better when i dress and look at myself oh trust me i do not care about how other people look at me oh darling that's just out of the topic i don't give a flying fudge about how you look at me and say oh you're fat or oh you are um not good looking or ugly <laughs> excuse me did i ask your opinion no honey no 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 that's not it i want to feel myself good after getting dressed or if i'm you know eating and all for myself when i look at myself in the mirror i need to look pretty for myself that's it pleasing yourself comes first i suck at singing i should stop singing okay anyways um hey i used to sing yeah but you know with the ears no trainings and all those my voice went downhill as well anywho getting back to the topic so yes uh muscle learns my channel yeah i love that channel because um 
well one of the reasons that i created is was um there are so many talented people in sri lanka as well uh, that has no um a, a, well if i say this there's no uh, they have talent but they don't have enough financial sponsorships uh to go and reach that stage the ifbb olympics olympia stage because bodybuilding is i think one of the if not the one it's one of the most expensive sports ever for from the diet to everything it's a lot of money sweetheart trust me because you need to have all those protein into your body you know the uh, uh, chicken breast or oh, egg whites the oats the protein the supplements oh my good god there's a lot of things that's going on um the vegetables basically the food and the workouts well workouts you can say oh you work out and that but you need energy to do all those things and the diet is mainly come from that it's very important uh did you guys know that 30 percent of the whole hundred percent um well if i say okay uh when you work out 30 percent is coming from the workout and the rest of the 70 percent comes from the rest you give to your body and the food so follow the food that's where you need to focus on because even though if you're going to work out like hell uh working your ass off sweating in bucket and then go out finishing gym workout so whatever the workout that you're doing after after go, after finishing it if you go out and eat um with within the within with the, eat just one meal gathering like um i don't know uh, just, uh, wait mm, how do i put this in a good way if you eat like a pig <laughs> i'm so sorry but yeah after a workout and then if you eat like a pig then it's pointless working out like that because whatever the calories you burn darling trust me you've earned way more calories than that so the balance should be there the balance is very very important after corona came the covid 19 pandemic you know the gyms were closed um people start working out at home and i am personally not a work uh, a home workout person so here i am with the fat figure again so yeah there's that there. um however the most most epic moment was for me to go on stage and do this women's physique competition in sri lanka i had fun and i've i've made a lot of mistakes and i've learned from those mistakes as well because when you go on these diets it's the first time that you're doing all these and um the first few months was super cool and was tolerable and then the more you go into this your emotions your feelings your brain basically your brain flips into the other side okay because uh, you get annoyed with people <laughs> <laughs> trust me um you get annoyed with people and basically you lash out on the loved ones because um the rest of the people are becoming very annoying as well because uh during this period you're low on sugar you're sometimes go low on carbs you know there are there there are mood swings oh hell of a hell of a kind of a life um during that period so um as a beginner as a first timer those were new areas that i was actually um walking through uh so made a lot of mistakes during the diets because um held in very nicely but the last minute it was the christmas time it was the christmas time where all these yummy delicious food pops in from here and there and everywhere and i was on a diet can you imagine me on a diet basically eating all these um clean eating you, you know oh my god and then a person comes with a freaking blondie or a brownie and i'm like are you seriously kidding me <laughs> yeah that went well <laughs> so what i did was i was thinking okay to hell with the whole meat and the diet i will just eat the damn brownie because i deserve it <laughs> bad mistake bad move <laughs> so i um 
well basically what happened was i placed fourth on the competition because i couldn't keep my mouth shut mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to food and i can't keep my mouth shut when it comes to injustice as well so i should actually train myself to keeping my mouth shut i should get very 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 friendly and close with the silver tape <laughs> but yeah so basically i placed fourth because i couldn't keep my mouth shut but i did keep kept my mouth shut during the water cutting period um so it was fun you know it was fun and i love 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 doing that and i really want to do this again hopefully yes um go on the stage at uh, the ifvb mr olympia stage and do uh, a participate as a, a bikini competitor competitor or the women's figure competitor I, those are the only two areas that i actually love and like doing so yeah um so yeah so that's that uh, so I just want to tell you guys that there are a lot of lot of areas that you would be amazed to see so do head on to muscle nerds there's a um, the easy way I think there are a few muscle nerds names on YouTube so basically my channel has my own uh, logo that I created and all the videos uh, that have been created and uploaded are done slowly but solely by me I record the videos I edit the videos and the lighting the sound everything is done by me so well not going to be a perfection a perfectionist on that areas because um, I'm also exper ex experimenting things so there's that um, do head on to muscle nerds the the logo says muscle nerds and the M is uh, the M looks like a bodybuilder uh, with the yellow colors so that's your clue to find it out um, do follow me on Twitter Georgina Donna do follow me on gram uh, Georgina Donna and uh, do check the links there um, it's already there the ch uh, link for the channels and guys come on send me your thoughts send me your um, opinions your feedbacks the topics that you would love to hear about and then I will do that on the channel and also on the podcast as well uh, basically the podcast is not only about fitness as you uh, might have heard all the episodes earlier we've been talking about formula one the wars you know it's about anything and everything but every episode is about something you know so um check it out all those things and do let me know your thoughts your opinions and you know just send me a dm thinking what would you want to know regarding the fitness world the workouts the diet the steroids and all but also about the world topics the trending topics which sort of topics you would like to hear me talking and who would like me to get as a guest whom whom you would like to see as a guest uh, featuring on these podcasts as well so i won't be taking a lot of time from you guys for this episode since i was just giving you a small tiny uh, wow what a tiny right it, it took almost um 20 minutes but yay <laughs> that's the tiny part so yeah um so anyways um as usual love you guys so much uh have fun have a nice day and have a awesome coming uh coming up days i mean there's a weekend coming up soon so um have a great weekend ahead and have a great work day if you're at uh, work have a great 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 time if you're at home and have fun and do let me know your thoughts Mwah! signing off georgie <laughs>